Um, and and the Patriots victory over the Chargers. People are saying fire Anthony Lynn, fire Anthony Lynn. I'm saying no. Give Anthony Lynn an extension. Give Tom Telesco an extension. These guys are not good at what they do. Anthony Lynn might go on someday and become a great head coach somewhere. I don't know if he will, but I'll tell you this right now. Anybody that's going to be the head coach of the Chargers, they'll all believe the same thing. I know this about guys who coach. They will all believe the same thing. I'm the guy. I can do it. I can turn it around. Okay. And there are certain places where you just can't. It has been proven thus far. It ha it can't be done. I'll give you an example. The Dallas Cowboys. Didn't you think years and years ago that a great coach like Bill Parcells would take over the Dallas Cowboys and automatically they'd be back? They weren't. They never were under Bill Parcells. We'll see if they ever are under Mike McCarthy. Somebody said to me yesterday, hey, Kaplan, would you become a fan of the Chargers if they hired your boy Alex Van Pelt, the offensive coordinator Ooh. in Cleveland, if they if they if the Chargers hired your boy Alex Van Pelt, would you become a Charger fan? And here's what I said to them: Yes, the Chargers won't hire Alex Van Pelt. But what if they do? Well, hold on. Let me just tell you: the Chargers won't hire him because of me. No, I mean, like for real, like they would not hire him. He could be the best guy on the planet. They'd be like, no, you're Kaplan's BFF. Uh, uh, we're not having you. We don't want him in our organization. We don't want him knowing what's going on here. We don't want our head coach being friends with that guy. They would never hire him because of me. And I would say to him, do not take this job. It's a hard thing to tell somebody, dude, they're going to pay me $4 million a year to be the head coach. I'm trying to become a head coach. I want to make this money. Why would I not take this job? I'm telling you right now, outsiders think the Chargers is a great job because of the roster insiders know it's a terrible job because of the ownership. They wouldn't hire him because of me. And I would try and dissuade him from taking the job because of them. What the chargers did yesterday, which was a very hot story here in San Diego, because people are either reveling in their failure or they're, or they're so upset about the failure. I've never seen much like that. I mean, I don't know if you guys know historically, like when was the last time somebody got shut out by 45 points in the NFL, but that's, that is, oh yeah. Okay, good. Please do. Here While he go. looks it up, Chargers. You're not, you're not firing Tom Telesco. Go ahead. Chargers 45 0 loss to the Patriots is the worst home shutout loss suffered by an NFL team since the Steelers lost 51 to nothing to the Browns wow. in 1989. Wow. 1989, the Browns. I'm just trying to think off the top of my head here. Marty Schottenheimer may have been the head coach of the Browns back then. Or, yeah, probably was Marty. Because Bill Belichick was the head coach of the Browns, probably more like around 93, 94. Vinny Testaverde was probably the quarterback. And they were terrible when Belichick was the coach. Yeah, I mean, they were a playoff team. I mean, they made it to the playoffs, but they weren't they weren't a Super Bowl contender. They weren't anywhere near the Patriots. Wow, 45 to nothing is the worst shutout in the NFL since 1989. And dude, if they if they fire Tom Telesco, the Bears should hire him immediately. Why do you think Tom Telesco is good? Because look at the roster. You just said it. Everyone around the league likes that roster. Who built that roster? Tom Telesco. You know what he's really good at? Quarterback, Tom you Telesco. know what he's really good at is that he he is really, really good at getting guys that have hype, that have talent, but can't stay healthy. He's but, really I mean, good at that. That could be he's true, also, too. He's also really good at drafting guys who are generally undersized and can't stay healthy because of that. Biggest shocker was the Chargers losing 45 to nothing. That's when not was shocking. the last no. time a team got skunked and the other team had 45? Like, that's a lot of points. You know how hard it is in a week-to-week yeah. league to not score? Yeah, you just so you know, the answer to your question is 1989. When was the last time somebody got skunked and shut out like that? We found out earlier. 1989, the Browns did it to the Steelers 51 to nothing. I'm pretty sure Jim Brown was on the Browns at that point. <laughs> <laughs> but when you watch that game, were you surprised as it was happening? Like, I wasn't. Like, the, like was. nothing about that game surprised me. Bill Belichick out coaching Anthony Lynn. It was the easiest, easiest money you could bet. Like, was it a big blowout? Yeah. Was, was I looking up when was the last time there was even a shutout in the NFL? Yeah. But was right. I surprised? Not even a little bit. They couldn't. Listen, you got to be able to get three. You got to get three. Hell, figure out a way to get two. But <laughs> oh, none. Dude. I uh I actually yesterday in the fourth quarter, they were in field goal range. 
And I was like, here comes the obligatory field goal just to get on the board. And Anthony Lynn did not go for it. So props to Anthony Lynn. You earned my respect just for that. You didn't just try and get the field goal. You went for it on fourth down. You got skunked, and I appreciated it. Yeah. Um, I want to talk more about this. A lot I want to talk, yeah, I want to talk more about how the Chargers got destroyed by the Patriots. This is not Tom Brady's Patriots. This is not the Patriots, the Super Bowl champion Patriots. This is just the current Cam Newton version of the crawling back or trying to crawl back in the, way, the playoff race Patriots. Here's a quick tease before we go to break. Yeah. Official news on Anthony Lynn's uh, future has been revealed. 